young little Nuber doesn't know anything about game development, but wants to make his favorite games on the Roblox platform. He reads up on the Roblox documentation to learn how to make a game until he hits a roadblock trying to figure out what the heck a script is and how a game comes together. And as a result of that, he quits on day one and probably doesn't have a computer anymore after destroying it out of frustration and now he can't pursue making the games he's always wanted to make. Oh, Newbert, becoming a Roblox game developer doesn't happen overnight. You'll especially have to put in the time, put in the effort, and face the struggles head on when you don't understand a concept, especially in the world of scripting and programming. In the beginning, it can be very difficult and demotivating to continuously learn how to become a better Roblox scripter when you keep getting faced with error messages and unintended effects in your game. It's a real struggle most beginners face when learning how to script on Roblox Blocks, which is why I want to make this playlist to help you reach your goals of making the games that you want to create on Roblox. My name is Braldev, and I will be teaching you everything you need to know to become a great Roblox scripter. I've been scripting on Roblox for about 7 to 8 years, and during this time I've made countless projects that just weren't successful. But one thing that kept me going throughout all these years was the desire to learn more and actually have an interest in the things I was learning. Even if I face challenges when learning new things, especially during times when I I was demotivated. And I hope you can adopt this secret strategy to go through this journey of becoming a Roblox game developer. As of recording this video, I have two playlists ready for you to watch once you finish this beginner's guide the Advanced Scripting Tutorial Guide, and the GUI Tutorial Guide. It's quite a scary journey to go through all these episodes, considering how many there are now, but like I mentioned, becoming a Roblox game developer isn't easy, and so I would like to make the journey easier for you by having everything you need to know in these playlists, ranging from the very basics to the advanced concepts, and accelerate you to become a pro Roblox scripter and game developer in 2024. And with that being said, let's now go ahead and start making games on Roblox. All right, so what you see here is the homepage of the software called Roblox Studio. Now, this is the software we're going to be using to create our Roblox games so that we can upload them to the Roblox website and so players can actually play your game that's uploaded to Roblox. I'll leave a link to this in the description if you want to download Roblox Studio so that you can log in with your account and then you can be greeted with this same exact home screen just like you're seeing in this video. Now before we do anything, I encourage you to basically follow exactly what I do step by step so that you can kind of get a feel for how to use Roblox Studio and you're experiencing what I'm teaching you while you follow through with these videos because just watching me go through these tutorial videos isn't going to be enough to help you learn. So that's why I encourage you to literally do exactly what I do as you watch these videos to follow along and learn from doing it yourself as well. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, once we are here inside of this home screen, uh, Roblox has a bunch of templates that we can choose from as a starter place to start making our Roblox games. For the purpose of this tutorial guide, we're going to use this base play template right here. I'm just going to click on this, and then what's going to happen is Roblox is going to load in this template that we just selected, and now we are thrown into this world that we can now mess around with to create our Roblox game and upload it onto the platform. Now, there are a couple of things here that I want to introduce to you so that you get a feel for how Roblox Studio works, because that's our goal for this first episode, it's to familiarize ourselves with using Roblox Studio and some of the things that they have to offer. And the first thing I want to show you is being able to navigate around this 3D world that you see right here that represents our Roblox game. So I want you to imagine you're playing Roblox on PC. The controls you probably use are W, A, S, and D for the keys and also the mouse as well. So it kind of works the same way here as well. So if we hold W, that's going to move our camera forward. If we hold S, that's going to move our camera backwards. If we hold A, that's gonna go left, and then D, that's gonna go right. And if we want to move the camera specifically, then what we can do is hold the right mouse button and then drag our mouse around the world so that we can change our camera to face a certain direction. And we can combine these movements together so that we're able to move around studio as we so desire to. Uh, some other things we can do is hold Q to make our uh, camera go down and then hold E to make your camera go up and we can even use the scrolling wheel to scroll outward and also scroll inward as well. So these are some basic movement controls that I will um, introduce to you for this episode and maybe go through some more later down the line. But that's like the basics of being able to move around inside of Roblox Studio. So now there are some, some windows that I want to show you that are going to be very important for the entirety of this tutorial guide. The first one is this Roblox Studio ribbon up here that basically shows all of the resources and services that they have provided to us so that we can use them 
for our Roblox game. So right now we're in the home category. So if we select a different tab like model, then it's gonna show us a bunch of different things here that we can use. And if we go to avatar, uh, it's gonna show us some different stuff, test, view, plugins, and all of these other sorts of things that are going to be very helpful for us. Now, another window that's extremely important to understand is what's called the Explorer, as you can see right here on the right side. You can see that there's all of these different folders inside of here with different names, and I'm going to try and give a brief explanation as to what this all means. Well, to basically summarize what the Explorer is, it's basically a directory full of folders that have its own specific purposes where you combine all of them together to make up one Roblox game. So every single Roblox game you can think of basically has this structure right here with all of these different folders with different purposes that you will need to learn how to use as a Roblox game developer. So one of the ones uh, as an example is called Workspace. Uh, Workspace is what basically shows us the entire 3D world and this is how we're able to render things inside of this game screen. It's when we put objects inside of this workspace folder. Now, if we were to open up this workspace folder, so if we click on this arrow that's um, to the left of it, then we can see that there's actually stuff contained within this workspace folder. So we have the camera, terrain, spawn location, base plate, and things like that. And if we open these up, we can see that there's other stuff in here contained within the thing that's within the workspace. So you can kind of see that there's this hierarchy structure going on. Uh, with this workspace. And it's very important to understand the structure when you're working with finding stuff within your game. And so it's a really good practice to understand how this structure works. Now, if I were to select one of these objects, like let's say the workspace, uh, we can see that down here, uh, it showed a bunch of things in this uh, other window called properties. Now, this is the next window that is going to be extremely important to understand. So basically what this window does is it shows all of the, the properties, the attributes, the settings or configurations, whatever you want to describe it as uh, for the object that we selected. So what we selected is this workspace object and there's all these properties here um, that are associated with that object that we can actually change ourselves. Um, and if we select a different object, like let's say the spawn location, it's going to show different properties for this spawn location object. And we can actually change it and see the change in real time inside of our game. So if we were to, let's say, change um, the color, let's say, so if I click on the color, then it's going to show us this color wheel right here that we can just pick whichever color we want. So if I were to, let's say, pick this color, and I hit OK, then it's going to change the color in real time and we can actually see this change inside of Roblox Studio. So that's kind of a cool thing to know about uh, when it comes to understanding the properties window and also the Explorer window and how both of them work together to basically um, have stuff inside of our workspace. And now the next thing I want to demonstrate is being able to add parts inside of the game. So I'm actually going to deselect the spawn location by simply selecting anywhere inside of this world, uh, just like that. And what I'm going to do is go on the top ribbon and click on this part button that's inside of the insert category. So I'm going to click this. And as you can see, Roblox has inserted a part for us to use. And what I can do is take this part, hold left click and drag it wherever I want to put it inside of the workspace. Now, there are other tools that I wanna to introduce to you that you might find extremely helpful. So we're able to select this and move it around. And this is what's called the select tool, as you can see up here um, on the screen. The next tool is called move. So if we select this, then we can see these arrows that are surrounding this part. So if we hold this blue arrow and then move it this way, then it's going to move the part in this specific direction. And we can do the same thing for the red arrow and we can do the same thing for the green arrow as well. Another thing we can do is change the size of this part by clicking on this scale tool. So if we scale this part this way, then it's going to move it in this direction. And the last tool is the rotate tool. So if we select this, then we can see that this basically resembles uh, a bunch of circles. We select whichever circle we want and then we move it in that direction specifically. So I'm kind of just moving this part around a little bit and that is basically how you use the rotate part. Now, once again, I want to deselect this. So I'm just going to click elsewhere like this. And now we have a part that basically just does absolutely nothing. But uh, what I wanted to get at here was uh, getting the feel and practice for moving around Roblox Studio and also adding parts into the game. So that's basically the introduction to using Roblox Studio. Now, at the end of every single video for this playlist, what I want to do is give you a learning objective or a challenge 
um, to assess what you learned inside of each video. Now for this learning objective, what I want you to do is basically just continue to experiment with Roblox Studio, either by moving around inside of the workspace or by adding more parts like this. So I'm actually going to go up here and I'm going to insert another part and we can do whatever we want with it by, I don't know, changing the brick color, changing the size if we select the scale tool, just like this, and you know, things like that. You can even navigate through more settings over here. And that's another great way of familiarizing yourself with Roblox Studio. And once you are done with this learning objective, I want you to go down to the comments of this video and describe what you did for this learning objective so that other people who watch this tutorial can see what other people have been doing. And I think it would just be a really great way to show what everybody else is doing for these challenges. Now, before we end off this video, there's one final thing I forgot to mention, and that is the importance of saving your work so that you don't lose your progress. So what we can do is go on the top left here in file, and we're going to click save to file as, and it's going to show up our file directory right here. And you could just pick wherever you want to save this Roblox Studio place in. So I'm just going to pick this place. You can even rename it to whatever you want to. I'm just gonna say beginner, scripting guide to the 2024, just like that. And I'm gonna hit enter and there we go. Now our place is saved. And I encourage you to save your game uh, very frequently so that you don't lose progress as you go through this tutorial guide. So that's pretty much gonna be it for this episode and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.